Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are talking about the difference between a stills autofocus photography lens and a cine lens. Specifically why you would want to upgrade to a cinema lens when you start shooting cinema. So if you're like most filmmakers uh, of the current generation and came up using DSLRs, shooting with full frame or super 35 mil stills glass, using autofocus and being a one man band, then it can absolutely be difficult to understand why you would wanna pay $3,500 for a lens that has no autofocus when you can, for $800, uh, you can get one that does have autofocus. Especially when the optical qualities of the lens are very, very similar. In fact, these two Sigma lenses, the 35mm Art and the Sigma Cine Prime, will give you an almost indistinguishable look. That's the first thing we should go over, is that there is no appreciable optical difference between a high quality uh, stills lens and a high quality Cine lens. Yes, you can go in and look very, very closely at the pixels and the amount of blades of the iris and the type of bokeh and find differences. But for all intents and purposes, they give a very similar image. So why is one three and a half times the price? Well, you'll notice that on a cine lens, there are two rings. This front one is for focus and the back one is for the iris. Whereas the stills lens has a single ring uh, for focus and focal distance is expressed here in this little window. Whereas the focus marks on the cine lens are here on the side. The cine lens is geared differently than the stills lens. The, on the stills lens, the difference between uh, the minimum focus distance and infinity is a quarter turn of the barrel. On a cine lens, it's 180 degrees, so more than twice the distance. Additionally, the distances are more even and more clearly marked. So you can match the distance on the lens to the distance from your subject. This makes the cine lens much easier to pull focus manually. And it makes the stills lens almost impossible to pull focus manually, at least consistently. Why would you wanna pull focus manually? Especially when autofocus on lenses like the uh, Art series are incredibly fast, incredibly accurate, and newer cameras have even face recognition autofocus. It has to do with the way that focus works in cinema. Yes, 70% of your typical feature film or TV show is still just talking people's heads. And for that purpose, stills lenses with autofocus work as well or better than cine lenses. But for the other 30%, it is critical that the focus is done manually because focus in Storytelling is often how we lead the uh, viewer's eye through the frame and tell the story. We pull focus from foreground to background to reveal something, or we follow someone through the frame. This type of shot is all but impossible with autofocus because you're changing what you're focusing on through the shot. If you've ever tried to use, say, face tracking autofocus or object autofocus, where there are multiple uh, moving subjects, it is an absolute nightmare. It is actually pretty tricky to do with a manual focus cine lens, but you have a dedicated person on your crew, the focus puller, who trains for years and gets very good at dialing in focus just where it needs to be, just when it needs to happen. That means the DP or whoever's operating the camera simply points the camera at the subject and has a second person, the focus puller, that will accurately focus on what needs to be in focus. You can pull your own focus as an operator. This is what news crews and ENG style operators do. And it is a style of film, uh, the Paul Greengrass or Catherine Bigelow documentary style of focus pulling that makes the image full, feel alive and like it's happening right in front of you. This is a lot easier to do with the cine lenses, uh, with a manual follow focus than it is with a stills lens because of that longer focus throw. You have much finer control with a cine lens than you do with a stills lens. If you use a stills lens on autofocus, the autofocus can often snap around and focus on what you don't want and make the shot unusable. If you only have a couple of shots in your on your day, uh, that require this type of focus, 
why do you need to use a cine lens? Well, this is why most cinema crews continue to use cinema lenses. It's because if you only need uh, one actively focused shot per day, then it makes much more sense to use cine lenses because that's a shot that you need and you can't get autofocus lenses. It's like the difference between hard and soft lights. You can always soften a hard light, but you can't harden a soft light. And as a result, most people choose to, to bring a lot of hard lights and modifiers to a set knowing that they can do both rather than bring a lot of soft lights to a set and get caught out with not having what they need for a hard light. Cine lenses can do dialogue scenes just fine, but stills lenses can't do the manual focus uh, of some shots. And as a result, uh, you would need to bring a whole nother set of cine lenses just for that shot. And so people use cine lenses for the whole shoot. The second ring, the iris, is another big advantage of cine lenses. This means that you can stop down in the middle of a shot. If the camera goes from an interior to an exterior, you can ride the iris and turn it down as the shot gets brighter. You can't do that uh, with a stills lens. You have to click it down in the camera and each of these is a hard stop that is very, very noticeable. The third big difference between stills lenses and cine lenses is the build quality. Now there's nothing wrong, especially with the Sigma art lenses. They have a metal body, they're very, very well put together, but they were designed and built to be used as photography lenses. They were not designed or constructed to the same rigor and to the same standards as cine lenses. I would say that stills lenses are designed to be used for years, whereas cine lenses are designed to be used for decades. There was just so much more on the line on a film when you have 40 people standing around than when you're a photographer working with a crew of two or three. I can't talk to the specifics of uh, shutter counts or days of use or environments of use. Both these lenses are made by the same manufacturer, probably from the same factory. The cine lens is engineered to a much higher degree and that is why it costs much more money. If a lens fails on your photographic shoot, you can get another lens or come back the next day. If it fails on your big film shoot when you're doing your stunt, you could be absolutely screwed. It is the difference between a uh, very well manufactured consumer sports car and a specifically built racing car. The racing car is a lot more expensive because it's designed for a specific purpose. You can drive your consumer sports car very fast. Don't expect your Lexus to get through the entire Le Mans. That is just not what it is built for. So they are the three major differences uh, between your stills lenses and your cine lenses. They are the manual focus ability, the manual iris, and overall build quality. Thank you very much for watching. I will leave links to these lenses in the description and I will see you next time.